Well, yeah. Do you want to just run through divisions then, real quick? Yeah, we do that. Yeah. All right, because I, I, that, I'm the same way. I didn't do yeah. records or anything. I just wrote down who I thought's gonna win divisions and who's gonna make playoffs. Yeah. So I'll just go NFC real quick, man. Uh, in the NFC North, I got the Packers winning that division, man. I think that they have the most complete roster, the most healthy roster. I know the Vikings with uh Daniel Hunter being out for a little while. Obviously, they lose um Diggs, but they bring in uh Justin Simmons. I just don't think that they're going to have enough to keep with the Packers right now, man. Um, so that's why I got them winning the mm-hmm. N- NFC North. Do you want to say your NFC North team? Or you want me just, I agree. I, you want, I got Packers. Okay. Oh then, yeah, you, we'll just we'll just go back okay. and forth real then, quick. Then uh, NFC East, man. I got the Dallas Cowboys, man. Mm-hmm. I just think I agree. Super talented, healthy. Everybody else is beat up or sucks. Yeah. So yeah. I agree with you, Cowboys. NFC South, I got the Saints, man. I Whoa. Think, <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> Veterans, man. They they they've been together. I think Brady and them are definitely going to make noise, but I just don't think that. They're going to I think they're going to struggle early on and with the Saints they're not they're not coming slow at the gate. I think that we've seen the Saints man how many times in the past 4 years man they're consistently in that conversation of having the best record in the NFL like consistently and those those core guys are still there whereas it's going to take time for Brady and those guys to get up to speed. It's going to take time for Leonard Fournette to get up to speed. It's going to take time for that old line to prove itself as well. We know that's still a big concern man. So that's why for me I got the Saints winning the NFC South. I got Bucks. I, just, I, I think would. they're too yeah. stacked. And Brady. I I mean, Saints are in the wild card for me, though, mm-hmm. for sure. They're definitely yeah. making the playoffs. And then uh, NFC West, man, I went with the Niners, man. I just think they are their more complete team. I know the Seahawks are really good with Russell. Rams. I, even though I'm hearing Cam Akers looks good. I'm hearing oh, yeah, he looks good. Yeah, yeah. I, I just I need to see it first. <laughs> with the Niners, hey, worst case, I know what they are. They got better this they got year. A, they got a great defense, man. Dude, and they upgraded majorly a left tackle, bringing in Trent Williams as well. They take care of uh, Raheem Monster. I, the biggest question mark with them, obviously their receivers have been kind of beat up, but they don't feature their receivers. Wide receiver number one for them is George Kittle. That's what they – and they took care of him. So, for me, man, I just think that they get the job done out there in the NFC uh, West. Seahawks, Russell Wilson. Mm-hmm. I'm contemplating 49ers wild card. I said in the past, Super Bowl hangover, but mm-hmm. – you're right, man. Their their team is too good. So I'll I'll think about that when we get to wild card. But I got Seahawks winning there. Okay. I know I know the consistency there. There mm-hmm. could be an argument for the 49ers with the Super Bowl hangover thing, even though yeah. their team, you're right, like hasn't really taken a downturn or anything. Mm-hmm. But we've we've seen it happen with us. Like even the mm-hmm. Steelers, like we win the Super Bowl, we haven't lost anything, but for whatever reason we're yeah. like eight and eight the next year or whatever. So Who was the quarterback, man? Uh dude, I just think our defense was off. I think, <laughs> you know, I think Ben was hurt I'm when that happened. With you, man. It's I all good. I'm ben just... was hurt when that. I need to. I need to look into that. But it's all good. No, I, I, I just... Sometimes ref make bad calls and stuff. Yeah, that's what it was. I, I got you. It's all love, man. Some weird stuff happens, and that could happen to the 49ers. I got you. <laughs> all right. So now in the uh, AFC, I got the uh, for the AFC West. No brainer. It's the Chiefs right here. Wait, did did you go? Oh yeah, you did all NFC. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you. AFC West, I got the uh, the Chiefs winning this, man. I just. They don't really have any competition in that division, man. Let's be real. The Chiefs are the favorite. They're the front runners. They're stacked. We saw what they looked like last night. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Easily. Chiefs. Yeah. Yep. AFC South, man. I got the Titans. Um, I think that <laughs> they got better, obviously, bringing in Jadavian Clowney. Offensively, they still they, they took care of Derrick Henry, paid him. So now they don't have to worry about a snap count with him. They don't have to worry about him trying to protect himself for a long-term deal. They're literally going to run him into the ground. Think Le'Veon Bell style here in Pittsburgh. He's going to be the guy that gets all the touch. You still got A.J. Brown. Obviously, they took care of Tannehill as well. So for me, man, and they also brought in Vic Beasley, who's a 14-sack guy one season as well, man. So you think in him, Jadavion Clowney, they could present some they challenges. They have un- loaded up, unfortunately. Yeah, with the Texans, ah, we saw them last night. I think they're going to... They're going to struggle a little bit at times. I, mean, I just think they're kind of capped at what they're going to be able to do, especially with the loss of DeAndre Hopkins. And then um, when you think about the Colts as well... I like dude, the Colts, man. Dude. The biggest question mark is Phillip Rivers. I'm not sold. I need to see it. So until I see it, I know what the Titans are. I know that style of play. I know they're very well coached. And yeah, they're built to win that division. And yeah, you could say Jacksonville, I guess. For no, no, no. Oh, okay. They're done. <laughs> They're done. Oh, so yeah, they're, 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 they're done before they're, they're the season for, started. Uh, they're taking for Trevor, man. So it's they, all good. They definitely are. Now you mentioned the Colts. Mm-hmm. I got them winning. And yeah. unfortunately, I do have the Titans in the playoffs. I have them sneaking in the seventh seed. They've loaded up too much, but I'm telling you, they're not doing anything in the playoffs. But with the Colts, 
you know, they're, we talked about this whenever they played us, and I didn't agree with it at the time. I, mm. st- I still don't agree with it because I do think Phillip Rivers is going to make a difference. I think okay. he's an upgrade from Jacoby Brissett and is going to bring the roster completely together. Mm-hmm. That's what I think the difference is from last year to this year. And Benetari isn't back. Am I right or wrong on that? Uh, I don't have to look. <laughs> I haven't even checked, man. Dude, because he killed them last year. So yeah. if they just have a new kicker who can make some of those kicks, that's a, a few mm-hmm. wins right there. So. I got them one in the AFC South. Okay. I think Phillip Rivers will make the difference. I see them ten and six. I see Titans at nine and seven sneaking in on that seven seed. Sounds good. And then uh AFC East, man, obviously I go with the Buffalo Bills here. I'm <laughs> They're the favorites in that division. We talked about their roster. I know, I know. Their roster is a top ten roster. I mean, you could make a case for them to be even uh, higher than that. They're loaded, and outside of New England, I don't really see a lot of competition. I don't think the Jets, especially with Jamal Adams being gone, especially with CJ Mosley being gone, I don't think they have enough to compete with them. No. Uh, when you talk about the Dolphins, they're going to be in transition at some point throughout the season. They're going to switch from Fitzpatrick to Tua. Anytime you start switching quarterbacks during the season, yeah. It's going to be wacky. And I just think with uh with New England, I think they're still going to be good, but they're not going to be like how everybody thinks early on. I think that that's going to be the difference. Whereas Buffalo, they're coming out the gate. I think they're good to go. They've been together for a couple of years now. They don't have to worry about learning each other. It's no uncertainties with their players. You pretty much know. I'm talking about from a health standpoint. You pretty much know what you're getting with these guys. Whereas with Cam right now, we're hoping he's healthy. We're hoping that these receivers can get open. We're hoping that they can protect them. But when you go on a list of everybody that's opted out in New England, that roster does not look good right now. So that's why I got the Bills winning the, NFC, uh, the AFC East. And despite all that, I do have the Pats winning the AFC East mm. just because of Cam and Belichick. Mm. Belichick's got something up his sleeve. So that's all. Mm. And with the Bills, I do have them in the playoffs. So I don't, I'm not going to write them off completely. Mm. I just think a lot of pressure. We've talked about this mm. off the mic. Bills fans and just Bills I guess atmosphere, community, fan base, all this type of stuff. They feel a little snake bitten, a little cursed sometimes. And I don't know if I don't know if they're gonna completely get past this this year. I know the talent, and that's why I haven't made the playoffs. I think mm-hmm. the talent's gonna win out, but they might struggle throughout the season, have some up and ups yeah. and downs. Whereas Belichick, I don't. I'm just betting on Belichick, like you said with the Saints yeah. or like some of the like with Philip Rivers. You got to see it. I got to see them yeah. upseat the Patriots. That's all. I know Brady's not there. Mm-hmm. That's that's kind of what I'm hanging my hat on. You so, make all yeah. the good points. Like they do, they do probably have the best roster in the AFC hey, hey, easily. Hey, trust me, man. You ain't got to sell it to me. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Uh, it was yeah. the last team? Yeah, Steelers. AFC North, man. I got the Steelers winning the division. Um, I think it's gonna be obviously a two horse race between them and Baltimore. Obviously, I think the Browns, depending on what Baker does, he can make it interesting. But I think it's gonna come down to Steelers and Ravens. The reason I have the Steelers is because of the loss of Earl Thomas. I think that's gonna be felt. A lot more than in Baltimore than they're trying to make it sound. Similar to last year when AB was gone, we tried to hype it up of, oh yeah, man, we don't need AB, we're good, we got this. Hey, he's gonna step up. They're trying to do the same thing right now with Deshaun Elliott and uh and Chuck Clark. Nothing against those guys, but they're later on guys. They haven't had a lot of NFL NFL experience nor a lot of NFL productivity. And we know even with Earl declining last year. He still was a top tier or, or in the conversation for one of the top safety spots and things like that. I think they're going to feel that a lot. And that's at a critical, a critical position. You can lose a, a front seven guy, a linebacker, a D lineman, an outside guy. And the new guy could come in. He might play bad. He might have a mistake. It's not going to cost you a touch now. If a safety messes up, we saw how Terrell Edmonds and Cameron Kelly opening game last year versus the Patriots where one miscommunication is a touchdown. We have Philip Dorsett out there looking like he was about to be a Hall of Famer, all because of miscommunication on the back end. That's one of the most critical positions, and you don't want to have young guys that don't have a lot of experience there because regardless of what they're gifted with athletically, it's just certain plays that they haven't seen from a football standpoint. It's certain route concepts and certain ways that you can attack young safeties that don't have a lot of experience and I think that they're going to feel that in a major way and they don't have the bona fide edge guys to offset it in Pittsburgh we got guys that if Mika were to go down you know okay with that front with those guys that are rushing TJ Bud and all those guys they can create enough havoc to make up for the lack in the back end Pernell McPhee is not that type of edge rusher. When you look at uh, Matt Judon, Judon, even though he had the sacks that he had, he's not a, oh, just put him out there and he's going to dominate a left tackle. No, he's going to, it's a scheme with him and it's coverage sacks with him. He's not that type of just bona fide guy. Now, interior, you bring in Calais Campbell, Derek Wolf, they can create some pressure and they're going to definitely help out a ton in terms of generating sacks and stuff like that. But ultimately, I don't think that they're going to have enough to make up for the back end 
and, and, and how they're lacking in that regard. So that's why I got the Steelers winning that. I like all your points. Steelers, yeah. here we go. And then for uh, NFC for the wild card. So for my three NFC wild card teams, I got the Seahawks, Bucks, and I got the Vikings as the last team in, man. <laughs> okay. So I got Saints. Yeah, because right, yeah, you had the Bucks yep. winning the division. Yep. Yeah. Saints. And you had the Seahawks winning the division too, right? <sighs> you know what? What? Did you have the Seahawks winning the yeah, division? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so I, or, um, Saints, 49ers. And you know what, dude? I'm turning a new leaf. Vikings are making the wild card. Kirk Cousins, what? not a bad guy. Not a bad guy in a little what? bit. I heard his interview, man. And <laughs> he's kind of got my mindset with everything that's okay, going on. Okay. So you know what? I'm kind of I'm kind of coming around to Kirk Cousins. I like it. All right. I'm not opposed to it. Trust me, baby. I'm not the opposed Vikings to it. Vikings roster, not bad. You know what? <laughs> Kirk, wow, man. I never you know, thought I would see this day. You know, man. maybe I just should have got to know you a little bit more off, off the football field. Maybe I wouldn't have been as hard on you all these years. Do, do I need to play a Josh Allen and Ryan Tannehill interview, too? Would that, would that change your perspective on them next? It might. It might. I don't know. <laughs> it might. <laughs> because I do realize that these guys are people at the end of the day. Mm. But, you know, if we're going to talk about quarterback, yeah. Cousins is what 15 16 for me yeah. he's still not he's still not all the way there okay. but I heard that interview you know what I'm gonna give you the benefit of the doubt I like you it. guys are over the Eagles are making the NFC I wild like card <laughs> I like it and then for my AFC wild card teams I got the Ravens got the Patriots and I got the Colts as the last team in man okay yeah. actually yeah we got all the same teams then um yeah. I have Bills, well, you, you Bills Ravens, Colts and Titans though because you got Colts yeah. Winning the division, Titans, yeah, making it, yeah. Bills, Ravens, Titans as my wild card then for the yeah. AFC as well. So, uh, dude, we yeah, we're pretty. We have all the exact same teams, man. Just we actually do. Just flipping the yeah. division winners, correct? I wow, like it, man. this is different from last year. We I had like some it. poor takes. I I know I had some cool takes. <laughs> I picked the Jags and make the playoffs you last did. year. You I think did. I picked the Falcons going to the NFC Championship. I think you did too, man. It's cool. You know what the fa- I mean? If anything, this is the year to be picking the Falcons though, because they're nah. they're so on and off and stuff. But I'm not, I'm not, I'm not oh, getting no, burned no. by them again. I say you you play that mod you want to. That's like, oh yeah, you can never lose in blackjack three times, man. Not not three times in a row. If you lose twice, this one you bet big. Okay, I've done that and I got my head knocked in before. I'm cool on those eyes, baby. Are we doing Super Bowl projection then, real quick? Yeah, you want to? Yeah, go ahead. Well, I said this way back. Whenever the Bucks sign Brady, it's going to be Brady versus the Steelers. Mm-hmm. Bucks versus Steelers, and we'll get the dub. Okay. Wh- where is going to be the Super Bowl? Is it down it's in Tampa? It's in Tampa. Mm-hmm. Is it? Yeah. Well, Ben likes it down there, so we're good. <laughs> I like it, man. For me, man, I got Bucks and uh, Chiefs, honestly, man. Whoa. And I think Chiefs get it done, man. I, I see them going back to back right now. I'm drinking the Kool-Aid until I see otherwise. Yeah, you saw the glimpse of it last They're night. A good team, dude. Good team is an understatement, man. We we saw them last night. We saw I what they I did was, the year I before. I was talking really highly on them at yeah. the beginning of this podcast. And they didn't brought I mean, everybody back. Like I said, upgraded, and they got better. So for me, man, until I see somebody that really can push them on that front or even keep up with them, because we've seen this, man, even when they won the Super Bowl, the whole playoff run, they were down double-digit points in every game. And they can score, pun- they can score points in a bunch in a hurry. They just a complete roster, man, top to bottom. They got the coaching staff, man. Obviously, Eric Bieniemy as their OC. We felt like he should have been a head coach this year as well. They just, I just feel like they have too much right now. So that's why I got them. You know what I will say about those teams that uh, the Chiefs beat, though, with all those comebacks? Mm-hmm. I think our defense is better. Although 49ers uh, defense is really good. I was about to say. And here's what I'll say, though. Okay. Here's what I'll say. Because 49ers definitely outplayed them in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With that defense and just okay. the team overall. So we got the defense. Okay. We got the closer quarterback that all, right. all those other teams don't have. So all right, and they got Mahomes. They got Mahomes. It's good. Uh, yeah. He's good. But I, he's, you know, good. He's, he's, he's good. He's really good. You know, he's you know really I'm a fan good. of Mahomes. Ooh, I, I like what? Mahomes. No, no, you wouldn't say Ben is good. You would say Ben is great though. <laughs> I do say Ben is great. Mahomes yeah, exactly. is great too. Oh, okay. Yeah. They're they're both great. Er. <laughs> <laughs> Nope, not happening. Right. Not That's happening. Cool, man. The Steelers, Bucks. All right. Ben, game winning drive. <laughs> All right, man. I lost Super Bowl forty three. Okay. Although I'm trying to think how how this one would end. Not in the back of the end zone like Holmes. We need something else, man. We you know need... what? No, no, no. Let Ben scramble and score so that we can guarantee the MVP. Because if he throws it, they'll probably give it to the. Receiver, I was gonna right? say. I was gonna say maybe like a scramble in the backfield, getting sacked, and like little pitch out to Connor. 
at the five hey, yard be line. Be careful with that, man. If he if he does nah, this, we're gonna we're gonna be throwing a lot that game. I, okay. I think Connor Connor will have like sixty yards and a touchdown. It won't right. be okay. Ben will have like two eighty seven and three touchdowns. I mean, because you told me that San Antonio numbers weren't even crazy like that, right? And that's hey, he had over hundred. No, they were they were really good. He had over hundred yards. But from my understanding, it should have been Ben. That's the way you tell this to me. Well, yeah, that last drive, I don't think. <laughs> Uh, they the reason Holmes got it is from that last drive, but I think Ben was so just like be careful, man. As big they of was a part, the ball the whole time. They as too. big of a part, if not more, because dude, I'm telling yeah. you, I mean, we could go over this. You just got to watch the drive right off the bat. Ten yard penalty with our offensive Listen, line. Hey, it's man. like first and twenty, and then Ben draws back, almost gets sacked in the end zone uh-huh. for a safety. He has to dodge all these guys. Uh-huh. If that happens, game over. I mean, hey, hey, third man. down, I, he made a he uh-huh. made a clutch pass to Nate Washington to uh-huh. keep the drive going. There there was a lot of things uh-huh. in that drive that Ben should have wanted, in my opinion. Holmes just, dropped the easier pass in the end zone. Just, just be careful. That's all I'm saying, man. Don't hey. I said co MVP is fine, but I, I really would have given it. Just have him to run ben. it in. If he runs it in, he'll. Oh, get you're it. talking it about for this run. game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, just have him scramble and run it in, dive in the end zone, flip a la John Elway, and he's good. <laughs> then we don't have to worry about it, okay? Okay, kind of like the Jacksonville comeback yeah, 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 down yeah, to Jacksonville. Because I just feel like it's not going to be a good scenario otherwise, man. You gonna be over here heartbroke. We win the Super Bowl. You not even <laughs> celebrating. Be, be yeah, like yo, he ain't gonna MVP. I don't care about that win. Like, <laughs> <laughs> so just to, just to avoid all conflict. <laughs> okay, that's how it's coming yeah. down. Please, I like it, man. Please happen. Please God, let this happen. It should have happened last year, but you know, I think. Mm-hmm. You know, whatever higher power you believe in, God, whatever. Yeah. I think they were trying to tell me, you know, you got to be patient. Okay. You got to be patient because right. I was predicting all this stuff last year. But <laughs> patience is a virtue. It's it's time this year. All right. I'm with it, man. 